Hey, what's going on? Today we are going to uh, make a trip to the lake, to a little lake that is called Moon Lake. And uh, we're going to be using the Lishi application. And then we're going to go there. When we get there, we're going to circle around uh, on the lake and then come back home. It should take us around 12 minutes. A 94% battery. I'm going to start recording here. Recording started little cue there so that I know when the uh, application started recording and uh, wish me luck let's see how this uh, work so let's load the trip to the quadcopter and let's start uh, the trip and see how that work So the quadcopter is now going all the way up, which is about uh, 170, yeah, 70, 82, 85. And that's probably a little too high, to be honest. Uh, but I just wanted to be a little safe. So 120 seems like appropriate. And apparently I started the mission why on the other side so we're gonna go a little back first and then gonna start the mission and then uh, as you can see gonna go around 12 I mean 20 uh, kilometer per hour which is what I wanted uh, the quad culture to be over there but I'm gonna speed up I'm gonna speed up here Okay, we're gonna speed up here a little bit until we get uh, pretty close. I got 89% battery now. And we're gonna go uh, 49, 50 miles per hour. Right now. So 49, 50 miles per hour. At this point, I cannot see the quad cutter, so I'm gonna switch to the video mode. Just to make sure that we don't get a little loss in here. And you can see at the end over there the lake already. Uh, so when we get to around the first point, then I'm going to just release the, uh, the speed a little bit. And uh, make sure that the quadcopter do with things. So let's switch to the map here to see how far we are. And let's... Uh, Zooming a little bit in here. Okay, here we are. And we are 85% battery. And around 1,019 meters away. About 1.2 uh, kilometers. And we are cruising at uh, around 49 kilometers per hour. So... <clears throat> The quadcopter is moving, and by now we are approaching the lake. If we switch over here to the view, you see that we are close to the lake. Let me try to re real quick so that I know. And at this point, I'm just going to let it go down to the speed that was pre-programmed uh, for when we get to the lake. So, let me align the quadcopter a little bit here so that I'm uh, actually pointing my controller to it. And we're going to be approaching the second uh, waypoint right now. And at this point, it's just going to focus uh, the... Let me switch over here. You can see how it's focusing the camera toward the point of interest. And you can see we still have full... Uh, if you see on the top of my uh, screen, we still have a uh, full signal which is pretty, pretty impressive. So, as you can see right now, the video uh, quality uh, is a little foggy because it's, uh, it's pretty late right now. It's actually uh, 1957, 1957. Uh, you can see up here. 
she's seven fifty seven for most people. Uh, and it's pretty pretty dark. And I also have a, a ND sixteen filter attached to the to the camera, which um, I didn't took off because uh, it's not about quality. I just wanted to test the uh, the functionality of Lynchy uh, and how we can perform a mission and come back home safe. We have 77% battery, and uh, if we zoom in over here, we can see what the, the quadcopter is actually doing. It's cruising at a 20 km per hour uh, speed, and the cameras are pointing to the lake, to the center of the lake. Right now, it's just cruising around the lake, and uh, you're gonna take a curb now, uh, hitting waypoint number seven, which is right in the corner. And uh, so at this point you can see because it's on the other side of the corner and I have uh, trees right in front of me right now. Then the the, the signal, the video signal kind of went down a little bit. But uh, nevertheless, it's a still pretty good signal. Uh, at 1900s, 1970 uh, meters away, so that's, that's not bad at all. And uh, I'm cutting part of the lake because um, I probably should have gotten a little uh, bigger radio uh, circumference here for the for the turn. You can see that right here around point number seven, the it's kind of too close. It's almost on top of the lake itself right here on this side uh, but uh, it's right now as you can see on the on the bottom of my screen I mean it's, it's the uh, farther part is taking it pretty well and uh, so there it is uh, life the life feed it's working pretty well so at this point it should be getting to this uh, this part of the lake right which is the corner and it should be almost hitting uh, waypoint number 12, which is going to be the last point. And then once it does that, the quadcopter is just going to point to the side. You can hear the sound of the uh, controller, which mean, uh, which is the sound for the uh, go home. And it's just going to start coming home by itself. And uh, and the good thing about this application, the Lichy, which is, a, by the way, it's a third-party application for... Um, for the DJI Phantom 4 and 3. Uh, the good thing about this application is that it technically you can create this trip uh, and uh, do it and return home without you having to uh, fly the, the, the mission first. Like you have to do when you use the DJI Go application. So that's a pretty good advantage. Now the thing with that is, I'm gonna speed up a little bit here. The thing is that is that you have to be careful. You have to be careful because uh, what can happen um, when you do that is that if there is a change on elevation, you may crash a quadcopter. Okay, or if there is like a building or something and the um, optical avoidance doesn't work, then you may crash a quadcopter. So you need to be careful and you need to make sure that you know the terrain where you're flying at. Uh, fly at a considerable uh, high altitude and um, so that you don't have this problem. Like I'm flying at 120 uh, meters altitude right now. And... Uh, I'm gonna switch to the live feed right here. I can already uh, hear the quadcopter. So it's pretty much almost home now. And uh, we've been flying for um, about nine minutes now, which is which is not bad at all, which is not bad. The mission was supposed to be 25 minutes, but obviously I didn't uh, let it just do the 20 kilometer per hour uh, speed that it was pre-programmed to do and I just uh, give it a little gas you know and uh, we made it back way before that uh, 25 minutes 
mark that we were uh, scheduled to do. And, and the reason for this is because uh, the only time that I needed the, um, the quad quarter to go about uh, 20 kilometers per hour was when I was on the... Uh, I'm going to land it up and just turn this off myself. Was when I was on the lake itself. I actually didn't need to uh, go that slow on the uh, cruising speed from here toward the lake itself. So it wasn't that wasn't necessary at all. So I gave it some speed and we made it there uh, with enough time to to spare, right? And come back. As, as you can see, we still have 54% battery, so no bad at all. We're gonna land it over here now. Uh, there it is, that's me right there. And it's landing out. And it's, it's, it's working pretty well. I mean, this is, this is actually very amazing. No, pro, no problem at all. Missions, uh, I would say that the mission was a complete success. Uh, and do I, do I recommend this application? Well, I do, if you actually need it. But it's a, with any, you know, anytime that you give people that much uh, freedom, you also need to be careful because the more that you can, you know, tweak and play with this, the more trouble that you can get. The more trouble that you can get. And, uh, you know, that's not good. Let's try to land it right there in the bus. I, uh, that doesn't gonna happen. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, we're gonna land the quad cutter now, and uh, make sure that you uh, subscribe to the channel. Make sure that. You Okay, make sure, <laughs> we got a little trouble there. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel uh, and uh, give it a thumb up if you like it. And if you wanna see any other tests, uh, please put it on the comments. Next time we're gonna try to do a, what we call a freaking uh, range uh, test with this application to see how far we can go. Uh, we come back home with uh, more than 50% battery and that was about uh, that was about a almost two two kilometer out uh, and the quadcopter was still you know in pretty good health so if we can go out uh, and back at a good speed I'm pretty sure that we can make it to about five miles and come back it's probably safety have a nice day good night if you are in another part of the war Take care. This has been Welkin Santana. Until next time. Recording stopped.